Good day. Welcome to RSET online lecture series. I am Jibin Francis, Assistant Professor from the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, RSET. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the subject EST-130, Basic Electrical and Electronics Engineering. And the specific topic under discussion will be relationship between line and phase voltages and current in a balanced delta connected system. This lecture is intended to first year students of all branches under KTU. Now before we move into the specific topic, a bird's view on module 3 from which this particular topic is extracted. Now as you know module 3 can be broadly divided into two parts, part A and part B. In which part A will be dealing with phasor representation, analysis of purely resistive, inductive and capacity circuit followed by analysis of RL, RC and RLC circuit. Now in part B, we had discussed about a three phase AC system and uh, in the previous lecture, we have discussed about a balanced star connected system. Now in today's lecture, we will be discussing on balanced delta connection and uh, we shall derive the relationship between line and phase voltages and currents in the balanced delta connected system. Now the contents of today's lecture, initially we shall see an overview of three phase delta connected system and then we shall try to define what you mean by line and phase voltages and currents in a balanced delta connected system. Now once we define line and phase voltages and current, we shall try to derive the relationship between line and phase voltages and current in a delta connected system and that will be done through vectorial addition of phase currents. At the end, uh, we shall draw the complete phasor diagram for voltages and currents in a balanced delta connected system. The lecture will conclude with a summary and references for today's topic. Overview of a three phase balanced delta connected source. Now, before we discuss delta connection, let us just revise what was a three phase system. A three phase system may be considered as a three separate single phase systems, phase displaced from each other by 120 degrees, and the peaks of their respective voltages do not occur simultaneously. In case of a three phase system, there are two possible way of interconnection. The first one is called as a star connection and the second one is called as delta connection. In today's lecture, we will be concentrating on delta connection. Now, let us consider three separate phase windings of an alternator. We are going to discuss how you can form a delta connection out of this separate three single phase systems sorry single phase windings of an alternator now f represents the finishing end and s represents the starting end of a phase so you have a red phase yellow phase and blue phase a delta connection can be formed when dissimilar ends are joined together so the dissimilar ends will be joined together and we'll get a delta connection so you'll we'll get three junctions over here Now, as we have discussed, the dissimilar ends of each coils are joined together in order to form a delta connection. That is, the finishing end of one coil is connected to the starting end of the next coil. So, when we form a delta connection, normally we get three junctions. So, we get three junctions and the line terminals will be connected to these three junctions of delta connection. Now here as you can see in the figure, in case of a balanced three phase delta connected system, we have only three lines. So here in case of a delta connection, it always forms a three phase three wire system. Now ERY, EYB and EBR represents the phase voltages and IRY, IYB and IBR represents the phase currents of a delta connected system. Now if the system is balanced, IRY will be equal to I at an angle 0, IYB will be equal to I at an angle minus 120 
and IBR will be equal to I at an angle minus 240. Here I am assuming the phase sequence is RYB and I am taking IRY as a reference vector. Now phase voltage is of a balanced delta connected system. So we know that a phase voltage is defined as a voltage between a neutral and a line. Now if you look into the figure of a delta connected source, we don't have any neutral point. So a phase happens to fall between two line terminals. So here as from the figure, every phase is falling between two line terminals and ERY, EYB, EBR represents the phase voltages. Remember all these phase voltages are equally displaced by 120 degrees and their magnitudes are same. And if I were to add vectorially ERY, EYB and EBR their summation will be equal to zero which means that there is no circulating current within the delta or the mesh connection which makes it which makes the phase voltages and line voltages to be same next we are going to define the line voltages of a balanced delta connected system from definition we know that the line voltage is defined as a voltage between two lines so here I am going to represent the line voltage in a balanced delta connected system. So VRY represents the line voltage, the voltage between R phase and Y phase. Similarly, VYB represents the voltage between Y phase and B phase. And last VBR represents the voltage between the phases R and B. Now if you closely observe the figure, we know that uh, ERY, EYB and EBR are the phase voltages and they are equally displaced by 120 degrees and their magnitudes are the same. So if we were to add vectorially add ERY, EYB and EBR their summation was equal to 0 which, which we concluded that there is no circulating current in the delta. Therefore. ERY and VR is same. The line voltage and the phase voltage of a balanced delta connected source are the same. So similarly I can write VYB and EYB are the same and similarly EBR and VBR are the same. Just look at the terminals. So if I look into this particular terminal 1 and terminal 2 of delta connection, ERY is the same voltage as VYR. So the line voltages of a balanced delta connected source are also equally displaced by 120 degrees and their magnitudes are equal. So I can write my V phase is equal to V line in case of a balanced delta connected source. Now we are going to define the line currents and phase currents of a balanced delta connected source. Now let us define line current first. A line current is defined as a current flowing through the line and the phase current is defined as a current flowing through the phase. Now let us consider a balanced delta connected system as shown in the figure and going to represent the line current initially IR, IY and IB represents the line current the currents are passing through the line now IRY, IYB and IBR represents the phase currents the direction of phase currents is also represented in the figure so IRY is a current passing through first phase, IYB is a current passing through the next phase and IBR is a current passing through the third phase. So these are the line currents and the phase currents are IRY, IYB and IBR. 
Next, vector representation of phase currents in a balanced delta connected source. So as we have discussed in case of a balanced delta connected source, the phase currents I R Y is I at an angle 0, I Y B is equal to I at an angle minus 120 and I B R is equal to I at an angle minus 240. Here I am assuming the phase sequences are Y B. Now in order to represent I Y B, I need to measure 120 degrees in the clockwise direction. Remember in case of phasor representation, the angular measurement in the clockwise direction is taken as negative and angular measurement in the anti-clockwise direction is taken as positive. So in order to, uh, in order to represent I Y B, I will measure 120 degrees in the clockwise direction and I will represent I Y B. Now in order to represent the third phasor I B R, I have to measure 240 degrees from the reference vector I R Y. So from here I will measure 240 degrees and I will draw the last phasor I B R. So here all the currents, the phase currents of a balanced delta connected source are equally displaced by 120 degrees and I R Y is taken, is taken as a reference and remember the phase sequences R Y B. This represents the way in which the phaser is being rotated at an angular speed of omega. Now we are going to discuss the relationship between the line currents and phase currents of a balanced delta connected source. Now let us consider a balanced delta connected source as shown in the figure. I R Y, I Y B and I B R represents the phase currents and I R, I Y and I B represents the line currents. Now I have marked the three junctions of the delta connection as one. 2 and 3. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to apply KCL at each junction or node of delta connection. Now let us consider the first node. Let us take the first node. So we are going to apply KCL at this node. The directions of the phase currents and line currents is shown in the figure. Now let us consider node 1. So if I take node 1, the total incoming current to node 1 is I R Y and there are two outgoing currents I B R and I R. So if I were to apply KCL at this particular node, I can write the total incoming current is equal to total outgoing current. So I R Y is equal to I R plus I B R. So if I were to rewrite this particular equation, I can write I R is equal to I R Y minus I B R. So we have represented the line current in terms of phase currents I R Y and I B R. So similarly, if I were to apply KCL at node 2 and node 3, I can formulate the relationship between a line and phase currents I Y will be equal to I Y B minus I R Y and I B will be equal to I B R minus I Y B. The relationship between a line and phase currents in a balanced delta connected system. So from the previous figure we have found out by applying KCL at the junctions 1, 2 and 3 I R is equal to I R Y minus I B R. Or else I can write I R is equal to I R Y plus minus of I B R. So I will perform the vector addition of I R Y and minus I B R in order to find the line current I R. So initially I represent the phase currents of a balanced delta connected system. Remember all the phase currents are displaced from each other by 120 degrees and in the phase representation the arrow indicates that the phaser is being rotated with an angular velocity of omega in the anti-clockwise direction. Now we have to perform the vector addition I R Y and minus I B R. So 
i r y is over here and i'll represent minus i b r so i'll add the these two vectors in order to generate i r so we'll perform the parallelogram law of vector addition over here so i'll complete the parallelogram and i have obtained the resultant remember the angle between i r y and minus i b r is 60 degrees exactly half of the angle between i r y and i y b now again the resultant will be at 30 degrees with respect to the reference i r y now we'll find out the magnitude of the current i r the resultant vector so using parallelogram law of vector addition the magnitude of the resultant will be equal to root of i r y square plus i b r square plus 2 into i r y i b r cosine of the angle between the two vectors under addition here the two vectors under addition is i r y and minus i b r so the angle is 60 degrees so i'll simplify the above equation so you know that i r y i b r represents the phase currents the magnitude of phase currents are the same so that's why i r y and i b r is represented as i phase and cos 60 is 1 by 2 so i'll simplify so that i'll get i r y is equal to root of 2 into i phase square plus i phase square so that is equal to root 3 i phase so here we found out the magnitude of a line current in terms of phase current in a balanced delta connected system using vectorial addition of phase currents and parallelogram law of vector addition we obtained i r is equal to root 3 i phase similarly if i were to apply vectorial addition of phase currents for the other phases i get i y is equal to i y b minus i r y so if i were to perform the vectorial addition again i'll get i y is equal to root 3 i phase and again in terms of i b i b is equal to i b r minus i y b so again if i were to perform the vectorial addition of phase currents i get uh, i b is equal to root 3 i phase so i can generalize the line current in terms of phase currents in a balanced delta connected system as the line current is equal to root 3 i phase so that is a magnitude of line current with respect to phase currents in a balanced delta connected system now we will try to find out what is the angular displacement of the line current with respect to the reference phase current i r y so here i have represented the phasor diagram of phase currents of a balanced delta connected system and uh, and we have found out what is i r in terms of i r y and minus i b r so if you look into the phasor representation it is clear that the line current i r is lagging the phase current with an angle 30 degrees or else i can say that my current line current i r is behind their respective phase current i r y remember all these three vectors are rotated in anticlockwise direction with an angular speed of omega so i can conclude the line current is 30 degrees behind their respective phase currents in a balanced delta connected system next we are going to draw the complete phasor diagram of a balanced delta connected source so in the complete phasor diagram we will be representing the phase currents the line currents and the line voltages you know that in case of a balanced delta connected system i r y is equal to i at an angle 0 i y b is i at an angle minus 120 and i b r is i at an angle minus 240 see here i am assuming the phase sequences r y b and all the phases are being rotated in anti-clockwise direction with an angular speed of omega so as per the equation i r y is my reference vector the complete phasor diagram will be completed in just five steps so this is step number one in which we will be representing the phase currents of a balanced delta connected source 
So I have represented I R Y is equal to I at an angle 0. So this is my reference vector at 0 degrees. Now the next vector is I Y B is equal to I at an angle minus 240. Remember in case of phasor representation the angle measured in clockwise direction is taken as negative and the angle measured in the anti-clockwise direction is taken as positive. So here I will measure 120 degrees in the clockwise direction and I will represent I Y B. Now the third vector to rep to be represented as I B R is equal to I at an angle minus 240. Therefore, from the reference that is I R, I will measure 240 degrees and I will complete I B R. So, in the first step, I have represented the phase currents of a balanced delta connected source. Remember, all these phases are equally displaced from each other by 120 degrees. Now in step 1 we have represented the phase currents of a balanced delta connected source. Now in step 2 we shall represent the line current of a balanced delta connected source. So I hope you remember we have applied a KCL at different nodes of delta connection and we have obtained the relation of line current. So we have found out IR is equal to IRY plus minus of IBR. So I will perform the vectorial addition of phases over here. So in order to obtain IR, I will add IRY vector and minus IBR vector. So I will add these two vectors. I will complete the parallelogram law and I will obtain the resultant as IR, the line current. Now similarly, the next line current IY is IYB plus minus of IRY. So I'll add the phase current IYB with minus IRY and I'll complete the parallelogram low and I'll obtain the resultant current IY. Similarly, the last line current IB is IBR plus minus of IYB. So, I have completed the parallelogram law and I have performed the vectorial addition and I have obtained the resultant vector IB. So, step 2 we have completely represented the line currents of a balanced delta connected source. Now, if you, cl if you closely observe the phase diagram, you can see that all line currents IR, IY, and IB are lagging behind their respective phase currents by an angle of 30 degrees that is iy is lagging behind iyb and ib is lagging behind ibr see remember all these phases are rotated in anti clockwise direction with an angular speed of omega so that's why we say ir is lagging behind iry the line currents are 30 degrees behind their respective phase currents. Now in step 1 of the complete phase diagram of a balanced delta connected system, we have represented the phase currents IRY, IBR and IYB in step number 1. In step number 2, we have found out the line currents IR, IY and IB. Now in step 3, we are going to measure the angular displacement between the line currents. So if I were to measure the angular displacement of each line currents in a balanced delta connected source, we can conclude it is 120 degrees. So in case of a balanced delta connected source, all line currents are equally displaced from each other by 120 degrees. Now in step number 4 we are going to represent the line voltages of a balanced delta connected source. Remember in delta connection the phase voltages as well as the line voltages are the same. And here we are also assuming one point the currents are lagging behind the voltage. Now the first the line voltage I am going to represent is VRY 
and here as you can see vry is leading the phase current iry by an angle phi see why leading remember the entire phase phaser is being rotated in anti clockwise direction by an angular speed of omega so that's why we say the voltage is leading the current by an angle phi the next voltage i'm going to represent as vyb the line voltage leads the phase voltage sorry the phase current by an angle phi now the last line voltage is vbr here also you can see that the vbr is leading the current ibr by an angle phi so if you closely look into the phasor diagram you can see that the angular difference between ir and vry is 30 plus phi so the angle between the line current as well as their respective line voltage is 30 plus phi so that is similar in all other three cases so so we can conclude the line the angle between the line current and the corresponding line voltage is 30 plus phi remember we are considering the load to be lagging that is the current is lagging the voltage now in step 5 we will conclude the complete phase diagram of a balanced delta connected source so initially we have represented the phase currents in a balanced delta connected system so in step number one we have represented i r y i y b and i b r we represented the phase currents in step two we have represented the line currents of a balanced delta connected source we represented i r we represented i y and i b through vectorial addition in step three and four we represented the line voltages v r y v y b and v b r now remember in all different steps we had made certain conclusions the first conclusion was that i r y i y b and i b r is equally displaced by 120 degrees that is the phase currents of a balanced delta connected source are displaced from each other by 120 degrees the next conclusion which we made was that the line current is lagging behind the phase current by an angle 30 degrees and again the third conclusion which we made was that the line currents ir iy and ib are displaced from each other by 120 degrees now in step number four we represented the line voltages and we were assuming the current to be lagging behind the voltage now the last conclusion which we made was that the angular displacement between the line current and the line voltage is 30 plus 5 for lagging loads and here also if you look into the phasor diagram it is very clear that the line voltages or phase voltages in a balanced delta connected system are equal and they are equally displaced from each other by 120 degrees now we will summarize uh, today's lecture remember in case of a balanced delta connected system the line voltages and the phase voltages are same the phase currents are 120 degree apart from each other similarly the line currents are also 120 degree apart from each other next we shall see what is the magnitude as well as the direction of line currents through the derivation and from the phasor diagram we have found out the line current is root 3 times the phase currents and the line currents are 30 degree behind their respective phase currents now the last point to remember the angle between the line current and the corresponding line voltage is 30 plus 5 remember we are assuming the load to be lagging that is the current will be lagging behind the voltage now these are the references for preparing this particular lecture basic electrical engineering by vk mehta and rohit mehta Circuit Theory Analysis and Synthesis by Abhijit Chakrabarti Engineering Circuit Analysis by Heath 
and the last one uh, electrical and electronics technology by Hughes thank you next we shall see the tutorial based on balanced star and delta connection